All right, the Halloween Kills trailer came out, or the teaser, and it was short as fuck. What'd you think about it? <laughs> I thought it was actually really fucking cool. It's I the did first too. bit of footage that we've ever seen, other than like a little behind the scenes clip that we got in October of last year. So that's really cool. It's the first real footage we've seen. And I thought it was pretty cool. So do you think the footage we see in this is like the very start of the movie? Like, do you think like the very first scene is going to be them like freaking out because Michael is still alive? And then that's a good possibility. You know, it's at the end of the last movie, you know, it ends with a close up shot of Allison holding the knife. Right. Mm -hmm. So what the f next movie could do is the first shot of the movie being that knife and then panning backwards into this scene from the teaser. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking uh you know one way or another whether they show it or not Michael is not going to be there when the fire department gets there. <laughs> I don't think so. And uh I don't I don't know. I definitely think that that could be the first scene of the movie. I think they might follow the same beat as the last one intense opening scene of them freaking out and then it's gonna play the Halloween credits and then we're gonna get you know either a, a time jump to the next Halloween or it's gonna just keep going from right where it was I'm gonna bet my money on the, the next two movies take place in Halloween of 2018 I don't think it's gonna jump a year I mean, I guess that'll ex that'll depend on what they say about Michael and the fire and all that. True. Well, because from the behind the... Hmm? I don't think they'll do the whole Michael got caught at the end of the movie thing again. Nah. But at the end of the day, it's possible? I don't... I mean, I think that'd be kind of lame, but... <laughs> well, in the... Uh, behind the scenes a little reel that we got last year it showed a shot of Michael standing on the porch of Lori's house as it's burning so he's definitely still there I don't think he's gonna be in the basement necessarily do you think we're gonna get another killing spree scene like in the last one but it's gonna be on all the first responders oh I fucking hope so that would be such an awesome way to open the movie yeah, just them freaking out and then Michael killing like a dozen firefighters and then just walking away. Yeah, and then you get the fucking opening credits. That would be so dope. I'm curious because in the last shot of the teaser, you see, you can kind of see the side of the mask and it looks burnt. It looks like at least some of it has melted. Yeah, but, I, I, it's very hard to tell. Because it could realistically just be whatever lighting they were using, but yeah, to me, because... I feel like it's gonna be at least a little burnt. Like, I feel like it wouldn't really make sense for him to be standing in that fire, and the mask yeah. wouldn't be affected at all. <laughs> that is true. But, on the other hand, another part of that, um, there's a few shots of the mask in the behind the scenes reel and they didn't look burnt at all and I'm pretty sure you see that side of it hmm at least to me maybe it wasn't maybe it was burnt and then it's, it's just not high enough quality to notice as long as they don't go too overboard with it I don't want a whole like two face <laughs> William Shatner mask you know <laughs> I, just, I think that would be way too overkill that's what everybody needs. Two-Face Michael Myers. <laughs> Two-Face William Shatner. But, um, yeah, I'm interested. If it doesn't open with either of those scenes, then I'm gonna go out on a limb and, says, and say it opens on a flashback. Yeah, probably. Because the opening of the movie could be 
where we open after him getting shot in 78, seeing what he does and then maybe see the eventual capture or at least what leads up to his capture. And then that would be the opening of the movie. I almost feel like people would be disappointed if that was the opening of the movie. Like, it, if anything, it should have been the opening of the last movie. <laughs> True, but that's maybe not saying I wouldn't like to see it. But... Until now, I kind of hope that the first scene is just them screaming in the truck, kind of like in the first movie. They had that long, or the first of the new trilogy. Mm-hmm. They had that long, drug out sequence where they go into the the mental hospital like i would love to see kind of like another oh yeah that would so be dope, have, like, like her... it would be the exact same thing of like they show the fire and then they show credits. yeah instead of say something is let it burn and then the opening credits yeah that'd be dope i'd like that that's kind of the vibe that i got from it anyways yeah. I, I hope, honestly, that that is the opening scene and that they're not showing, like, any of the fucking movie yet. <laughs> well, I, I highly doubt they're going to show, like, any of the movie at all, just because... Now that it's been delayed, I really think... Yeah. ...that they're going to wait, and we're going to get tiny little teasers like this, and then I think we won't get a full teaser until next year. Yeah. I don't even know about tiny teasers. I think that... This could be the last one for a long while. Yeah. Just because that's kind of how they market movies now. Is For our, the first Halloween, for Halloween 2018, we didn't even get a trailer until like uh, June? The first trailer was in June. Yeah. It was it was real late in the year. Yeah, that's, that is that is true. I almost wonder if maybe because of the hype behind this, they're gonna pull kind of like a Avengers type thing where they're gonna be like for like an entire year marketing this movie. I mean that'd be cool, but horror movies even at the level of Halloween don't usually get that kind of marketing. That's true. Like, I remember everyone asking where the trailer was for the last Halloween, uh, like, a year out. And it's like, this ain't Star Wars. They don't release their trailers a year before the movie comes out. Yeah. Star Wars does that because they have so much fucking hype around those movies. And as much as I love horror, it's not as big of a community as, like, Star Wars fans or Marvel fans or DC fans, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I I kind of hope that this is a rare case where they give us a full trailer early because I would absolutely of the love that. But I don't know. I, at the same time though, I'd kind of be sad if we got a huge trailer now and then had to wait an entire year. Because yeah. I feel like then like by the time the movie comes out if they are releasing full trailers like that, I feel like people yeah. are going to piece together everything that happens in the movie before it comes that out. That is true. An you can't year. release too much. The last movie got two full trailers. And that was it. Because they had released them so late. Yeah. And that's all I needed. Other than I had two trailers and two posters. Now what they could do is release a teaser poster sometime soon. I think and we'll definitely wait. get a poster this year. Yeah. I would hope so. At least something. Like... Yeah. Even if it's just a set of promotional photos, like, I, I definitely think we'll go more of the movie yeah. this year, but I don't think at all that we're going to get a trailer as much as I'd like one. I don't know how... I'm curious as to how they're going to market the posters because with the first poster for the movie, they had an advantage because that was literally the mask reveal. So it's not only the first poster, but it was literally the first time we ever saw the new mask. Yeah. This time around, it's not going to be as hype because we already know what the mask looks like. It's going to be like maybe a bit charred, but other than that, we already know what it looks like. It would Unless... be cool to see some classic Halloween posters kind of, like, redone. 
with this new oh like the like vintage get, get like the old school posters. halloween 2 poster i would kinda, love like, that rework it into this or like one of the shots from halloween 2 but redone with the new mask or something like that as a poster i think that would be really cool that would be cool but i don't know the last poster marketing for halloween 2018 was just so simplistic all it was was Michael and then Lori and Michael, and that's like all the posters we got. There was that's nothing true. <laughs> to. There was a Comic Con poster where it was like a full body shot of Michael, and like the camera was looking up at him, and that was a dope poster, but that was a Comic Con exclusive poster. What if they make a poster out of the silhouette of him standing in the fire? Like on that the would porch? be dope. That would be I would love uh, that. I'd probably buy that poster. I saw. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I saw another. Uh, fan poster for this movie that was like Michael's mask but sideways and like half of it was melting and the other half had like a fleshy jack-o'-lantern melting from the mask and was dope as hell yeah I'm, I'm definitely curious to see the marketing for this especially now that it's been delayed because they obviously had you know a lot of the shit ready before oh, yeah. this delay happened, but of course, you know, it's going to be delayed because no one can go to movie theaters right now, so. I have no doubt in my mind that they already have the poster ready to go. They probably have a full trailer ready to go already, but they yeah, can't release it they now. They probably do. <laughs> they honestly probably have a full trailer ready to go. We're in July. If it was supposed to come out this October, they absolutely have a trailer ready. There's yeah, no way. They have they a trailer don't. ready. They have at least a poster ready, probably two. But I don't, you know, I, I don't want them to release too much too early because, like I said, exactly. like, with the way the internet works, people get a hold of information too fast. They pick stuff apart oh, yeah. too easily. And then you have those people that, you know, study every behind the scenes, you know, picture or something that someone got off the set and then they compare it yeah. to the footage and they're like, oh, well, this was what happens in this scene. Yeah. I don't want to see the entire movie, you know, picked apart by the internet before like a year before the movie before comes out. Yeah, a year out. before the movie comes it was, out. It's yeah, one thing when right. people are speculating like two or three months because there's yeah. still, you know, a lot of like mystery behind it. But yeah. when there's an entire year to speculate on, I don't know. It's over a year right now if it comes out. Yeah. October of 2021. It's July 2020. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah, over a year. A year and what, four months? Uh, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what they could do for a poster if they wanted a simplistic style like the last one? They could have the, uh, 78 recreated mask on the poster. Like, show off what their flashback mask looks like. That's true. If they tried to recreate the uh, original mask. That would get people hyped because that's something that we haven't seen yet. Yet, It's something to analyze because, you know, they're recreating the original mask. Hmm. I trust Christopher Nelson with that, though. He did such a great job on The Last Mask. I trust him to at least make a really good Michael Myers mask. Yeah. How much of Nick Castle do you think we'll see in this one? Oh, he at least has another cameo like The Last It might be maybe more. Maybe we get a... I'm not holding on to it, but... I would really like if we got like a full Michael Myers scene with him. I think it would be really cool if they kind of lined up a shot somehow where someone's like running down a hallway or something. And then <laughs> you see like Michael is like walking behind them and then like going in and out of doorways. Kind of like so the person looks behind them and Michael's not there and then you see him come back out. Like, kind of where yeah. you, can, you can see Michael the whole time, 
and it's one of those things where you're like, dude, turn turn the fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> I would love Maybe. I would love it if like super early in the hallway, like from a distance, it's Nick Castle, and then it changes, you know, to change you, Courtney. Yeah. So that that yeah, way they could cool. kind of have him in a chase sequence with those old school movements, but it doesn't have to be too demanding. And you can still yeah, like swap a, it out before stuff gets too physical, you know? Yeah, that would be dope. I mean, I don't know. The guy seems to be pretty in shape. I think he would be able to pull off at least a chase scene or at least him walking somewhere. Yeah. I would I would love to just see, like, one sequence. There's just, like, one tracking shot Castle. or something with Nick Castle. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, if it comes to it and it's just another, like, cameo like the last movie, I won't care. Yeah, he nailed that shit. Yeah. He was such a perfect, like, embodiment of Nick Castle's version, yet he made it his own. It was so good. Yeah, it's kind of... You know, his his version of Michael is the perfect love child between, like, the 78... Michael and the Rob Zombie Michael, you know, like yeah. he has that like heavy hitting brutality of like Rob Zombies, but he's very reserved and creepy still, like the seventy eight yeah. one. That's the whole movie, though. It's like it's the perfect blend to John Carpenter's original, but also a modernized horror movie that teenagers now could still be scared of. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate, you know, that we live in a society now where people are like, oh, this horror movie's not scary if there's no 30,000 jump scares in hella gore. Yeah. But Luckily, they didn't overuse any jump scares, and the gore was done tastefully. Yeah, I, w- I was That's very I happy about. with that. You know, there's yeah. like one or two scenes they do for like the shock factor, like the head stomp and stuff yeah. like that, but... Other than Even that, then, it was, it was very much more like the first movie, where it's kind of yeah. just like, you know, Michael stabs somebody and then just moves on. and then Yeah. Or if he fucks with his prey, he does it off camera, like the um, jack-o'-lantern head scene. That was such a good yeah. kill. And, and that they constantly do. I hope we get more. Yeah. Because, in the, like, when he pinned the girl's boyfriend to the wall... And all yeah, that like was, Bob. Yeah, I, I was, was I was so satisfied with that, even though we didn't get to see it because I knew. Yeah, <laughs> I knew exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the best way to do it, though, just because you're not setting up any expectations to completely recreate the scene or anything, but you also pay homage to the original. Yeah. By making it the same kill. But I also love the other original kills. Like him taking out the dude's teeth and just dropping it over to the bathroom stall. That is one of my favorite scenes in the entire That's so movie. so good, it's, man. It, There's just something about when he's just sprinkling the teeth over the door. It's That's just, so it's fucking so, good. Like, it's so perfectly demented that <laughs> you're yeah. just like, there's no way this guy isn't a convincing fucking serial killer. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking crazy, but it works I don't know so who well. in the production team came up with that idea, but they deserve an Oscar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just for that. <laughs> so good. That shit is too scary, man. And then just like how intense the sequence is when he's slamming that guy into the stall door. It's just oh, it's so, so good. good. That guy to technically uh, be alive. Yeah, because they never confirmed that he died from those injuries. Yeah. So The he's... last <laughs> shot you ever see of him is him just laying on the floor, but he's still breathing. Yeah. I almost wonder if he'll be in the next one and he's going to be like the Loomis type character where... He's seen Michael firsthand now, and yeah. he's going to be, like, you know, on Laurie's side now. That'd be where crazy. It's like, he I'd has like to that. die. Because in this one, it was kind of more like he was fascinated with Michael. So yeah, I would he be didn't believe in, him, in the boogeyman side, you know, he just is fascinated with the serial killer side. Yeah, he's now seen his partner be murdered in front of him after he was yeah. beaten senselessly into submission. Yeah. 
And so I I would love to see like a full 180 of his character and give him like an actual arc. Yeah. If they are I mean, going to reuse him. I have no reasoning as to why Michael wouldn't kill him, but <clears throat> Yeah. Cuz like I was going to say, oh maybe he killed the girl because she had the keys and he needed to get his mask, but the guy was the one driving, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know, maybe Michael felt like it wasn't necessary, or maybe he just assumed he would die after the fucking ass beating he gave him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's very true. I mean, there Either are kills way, that it... Michael deems unnecessary, whether they be for personal reasons or not. You know, like only leave the baby alive and yeah. stuff like that, so... I think there's I think... certain people that he doesn't kill on purpose, and there's probably a reason for it. Like, maybe he didn't yeah. want to stick around in case someone caught on to the fact that he just beat the fucking shit out of people <laughs> in that bathroom. Because he's way smarter, you know, than just this, like, mindless killing machine. Like, there's yeah. a reason to everything he does. He's intelligent. Everything. Like, all of his chases are planned out. and yeah. He probably should have done a stake out of Lori's house before <laughs> before he went in there, but I don't think he'll make the same mistake again. I, uh, he's going to be like looking at those walls while going up the staircase from now on, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I love that shot of when he falls down the staircase and then just sits up. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. So, they, he did that, the they got so the well. most unnatural movement for that. And it's yeah. so perfect. <laughs> it's so fucking good, man. Like, was 2017, I think, was when they announced the cast and shit and that the movie was being made. I remember it was like, holy shit, Nick Castle is actually coming back to play Michael Myers. This is incredible. And I remember being disappointed because it came out later that, oh, it's actually just a cameo and some other stuntman is playing Michael Myers. So I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. But after seeing Halloween 2018, this guy could play Michael Myers for fucking 20 years. Yeah, and it's it's so interesting because he's so good at it that yeah. everyone, when the first trailer came out, could not figure out what was and wasn't exactly. Nick Exactly. And, it, like, when you have reached the point where you can mimic that classic Michael style so well that people cannot tell the difference you could play that character as much as you want at that point <laughs> literally that is... the biggest fucking fan that I know of on YouTube of Halloween thought that it was fucking Nick Castle in like there was one shot in the trailer where he it's just his silhouette walking towards the camera and he was legitimately like that's Nick Castle there's no way that's not Nick Castle I know that walk and it wasn't him <laughs> It's fucking yeah, and, incredible. Yeah, and I know the the Wham guys uh, also, I think, were debating on what was and wasn't Nick Castle in yeah. the first trailer. And then later, Nick Castle himself, I think, confirmed on Twitter that he didn't even have a walking scene in the movie. And everyone was like, excuse me? Yeah, everybody was like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, L I don't they're... know. I I would like to see them do more with Nick Castle in this one, but if they don't, I mean, I I'm totally care. fine with it. Like, yeah. it, 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 the idea that Nick Castle is passing the torch while even being involved at the same time to be like a dream come true for yeah, for James Drew Courtney, you know, like that's James Drew Courtney and David Gordon Green, Danny McBride, all of them. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I they mean, at least for get any to work with Halloween the original. Fan, yeah, it would be Michael amazing. Myers. But to be the guy that's you know has to take up that mantle, yeah, and to be able to do that with Nick Castle, and so convincingly, is like a miracle. <laughs> you know, the surprising unsung hero of James U. Courtney's Amazing Michael Myers is though is Christopher Nelson, the guy who made the mask. Mm -hmm. because the guy he had said this in interviews and shit he would be putting the mask on 
James before they started rolling. And James was asking him because he was such a huge fan of Halloween, like, how should I play the scene and stuff? And he was telling him how Michael would be, but also to bring his own thing to it. So he also had input in Michael's performance and whatever he fucking told him was damn near perfect. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's just like such a miracle team of people came together for yeah. that movie. <laughs> Honest to God, if Hollow if the original Halloween wasn't my favorite horror movie, such a love for Nick Castle's Michael Myers, James U. Courtney would be my number one favorite. No question. Oh yeah, absolutely. He would be absolutely my favorite Michael Myers, because there's really he just did such a great job. There's nothing to complain about with his performance at all. What like you can yeah. say what you want about the movie, but he was perfect. So yeah, it's you know he he came off scary. He was reserved enough. He had Nick Castle's mannerisms. He had you know the brutality of the more modern horror movies. So it was kind of the perfect blend of everything. To be honest. Yeah, exactly. To, to do a new Michael. And that I feel like is something that was completely missed in the the Rob Zombie movies was the subtlety. Yeah. It's, there's like maybe two scenes that feel like <laughs> something Michael would do. Actual in Michael movie. Myers. And everything yeah, else, I know. It almost feels like you're watching Jason Voorhees. Not even including That's... the second one with the mom complex. <laughs> which, just exactly. the first one. <laughs> that... I like Tyler Maine, and I actually think he would have made a pretty damn scary Michael. And to most I mean, people, he, he was still scary. He did make a scary He was Michael, a scary it Michael. just didn't feel like, like Michael. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the, my problem with it, is that it was more like Jason Voorhees, and it's like... Yeah, he was that's so great brutal for... and excessive, and it just, like, 90% of the film just did not feel like a Halloween film at all. Yeah. Not, not even including his, you know, pulls you out of it. I, I yeah. do, however, like the scene where he strings that guy up and is, like, playing with him by the stairwell. Yeah, that shit <laughs> He's, like, was slinging Michael. him, the dead body, yeah. back and forth. That was That's perfect. That's Michael Myers, yeah. <laughs> that shit was good. Regardless of how good this movie is, at least we know that James Recordy will be perfect. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. He's and gonna and be Jamie perfect. Lee Curtis. I mean, obviously. I have little doubt. I mean, there's always going to be doubt because it's a movie. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know the story they've written, but I loved Halloween uh, 2018 so much that honestly, it's the exact same team working on this. So I have a lot of faith that they're going to make a great movie. Yeah, I'm. I am very excited for this one. Plus, all the setup is done. There's no Michael needs to escape from prison. There's no Michael needs his mask back. There's no none of that. So you have such a big open world. Yeah, you to have play a clean slate for movie. the first time since Halloween too. Yeah, to, to play with Michael in new ways. So exactly. I'm I am very much interested in seeing where they take this because yeah, I I do hope you know that this doesn't become that studio demanded sequel machine <laughs> that the original franchise I absolutely became. Hope uh I really hope that if they want more reboot it because I just at this point I, I, I don't I mean I don't want it to be rebooted but I d I don't want the non stop sequels either. It's yeah. so if you're gonna do that just make a new version because I don't want to see you take the original franchise again. <laughs> and do all that yeah. shit all over again. <laughs> I think no matter what happens, I don't believe David Gordon Green or Danny McBride are coming back. I think once Halloween Ends comes out, that's going to be the end of their story, and they're going to stick to it. And then if they want more sequels, then if they really try to push more sequels, then they'll probably just hire new people. Probably. Which I don't want, because, you know, they're too good. 
Yeah, I mean, dude, everybody slept on Danny McBride. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never thought. Because he was the fucking you know, comedian that was in all these ridiculously stupid comedy movies. So yeah, I was like, just him like riding Rogan's a friend, Halloween but... movie? <laughs> everybody yeah. had just looked at him as like Seth Rogen's friend. And now. I remember I gave this, like the like, biggest he's fucking such a side. Good, like, writer. I like, I don't know how much yeah. of that movie, you know was his because it's hard to say you know yeah i could at least tell that a lot of the comedy was his like the julian kid which i, I like the i julian definitely kid think until... the whole like boner joke scene was danny mcbride yeah oh yeah <laughs> <It's> danny McBride. <laughs> the the thing is is that i liked the julian character a lot until michael came out and started attacking vicky and then they were still trying to pull jokes during a kill scene yeah. That was a little bit like, nah, I don't do that. It takes away from the seriousness of the scene. Yeah. That was my biggest problem with the Julian scene, just because they pulled away from the seriousness of her getting attacked just to make a joke. That kid was hilarious, though. Like He was hilarious. Sure. That, that kid, I hope he returns in the next one. <laughs> He is. Like, he is. They've confirmed that Fuck he's coming yeah, back in this next That one. kid yeah. is hilarious. That kid's he going was places, fucking hilarious. Man. That's a child. As star long as they don't overdo one. it. <laughs> My fear for that though is that they'll see how much everyone loved him in the last one and then just overdo it. Yeah. Like give him way too much screen time and shit. I wouldn't mind if he's kind of used as you know like the new babysitter tool for the movie. You know, like if they yeah. do something where. You know, Lori's granddaughter is babysitting him now because her friend died or whatever, and now, you know. That's assuming that it's a time skip. I honestly don't think it will be. I think it's going to be a, uh, I think it's gonna, still going to take place in 2018. Well, I mean, even if it is immediate, you know, we don't know how many days that this is going to take place, you know. If, if it well, does... Well, there's no way... That's the well, thing, there's is we have an no interesting <laughs> theory regarding Julian as to why he's in this next movie. It is one of those, like, analyze the fuck out of this footage type of things, but it's not really spoilery. Basically, in the uh, behind-the-scenes footage they released last year, there's this character in a nurse's outfit that people pointed out. And they pointed out that is actually um remember in the the one shot scene from the last movie mm -hmm. right before he goes into the lady's house that he uh stabs through the neck he stops and watches this couple dressed up as a doctor and a nurse like arguing about their keys and shit and he just stares oh, at yeah. them yeah in the driveway yeah it's the same woman dressed up as a nurse that's interesting. So people think that's the, Julian's parents or what? People think that's Julian's parents. Not only that, but in the uh, footage that they show, she's clearly shown shooting a gun. Weird. So people think that she might be going after Michael. For attacking her son. I almost wonder if Michael is going to get a hold of Julian. Oh, that would be... You think he's going to kill a kid? I don't think he's going to kill... I, I don't know, I don't know if he'll kid. kill him. I think it'll be one of those narrow escape things where you, the whole scene, oh, you sit yeah. there and you're like, oh my god, he's going to kill a kid, he's going to kill a kid, he's going to kill a kid. And then right at the end, he gets he shot and, and Julian oh. like wiggles away and runs off. Maybe. Honestly, I don't... I know that he killed a kid in the last movie, but I don't think he... That kid looked like he was like kids. 16, 17 years old, though. That's what was in the movie, but yeah. it's to me, it felt like he just killed a teenager like he always does. So to me, it wasn't yeah. that out of character. But That, and if he was younger than he seemed to be, I think it was more that he was he needed to escape, right? He needed the car, so he had to kill the kid for the car. Yeah. It was more like a... I don't really kill kids, but 
this time I have to, you know? I mean, that's possible. Because realistically, that, I think that, it's that's Halloween the most night. interesting part of Michael's character is no one knows why he does or doesn't kill people. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, but honestly, if he's going to kill kids, he's walking around outside on Halloween night. Why wouldn't he just kill kids while he's on the street? Yeah, you know how easy it'd be to just walk down the street and just start stabbing people's children while they're trick-or-treating? Yeah. Like, no, well, like I know Michael you? likes to stalk and shit, <laughs> but there are some times where he just doesn't give a fuck. He'll just start killing. Yeah, So I, mean, I really I, don't think he kills kids. I think that was just more I of think, a... I think I he's smart enough situation. that the reason he doesn't kill all the kids on the street is because he's smart enough to know that, that the more people that see sooner. him, the faster he'll get caught. And he doesn't that is want true. his whole, like, game to end. But even still, he could stalk kids. True. He had a whole chance to kill Julian while he was in his closet. That's, that, even when watching the movie, that's where my mind went. It's like, okay, he needs the car, so he kind of has to kill the kid. But yeah, I think that, um, if they wanted to recreate the hype... For the last movie, I think putting the 78 mask on the poster would be a pretty good idea. Because it's something we haven't still simplistic enough. That's true. I don't know, I kind of hope to see more intense marketing after this one. Especially after that teaser. That's, I would like to. I was stepped up the intensity on the teaser after Oh yeah, the last one. That shit the last was crazy. movie was kind of just like, here's a shot of Michael and then the music and that was it. And this yeah. one was like them like freaking the fuck out. So Well, the first tre- teaser or trailer, yes, but the second trailer, holy shit, that's like that's one of my favorite trailers I've ever seen just because the trailer starts with an edited down version of the one shot. Yeah. Where it's just following Michael behind him and he's just fucking people up. It's such a good trailer. I almost wonder if they're gonna do crazy ass PTSD scenes where she's gonna like hallucinate See Michael, Michael in the hospital and she's gonna freak out and then like it'll be like a nightmare or something. Yeah. See, they filmed scenes like that for the last movie. Before Michael escapes, there's like literally two scenes where she has PTSD and sees Michael, but they cut those out. There's the scene. Um, when she's, like, in her house cleaning her gun and shit. And it's, like, the first scene after the, uh, reporter's visit where she's, like, shooting the targets and cleaning her guns. When she's inside the house cleaning the guns, off to the side, you were supposed to see Michael standing, like, in a closet next to her. That's, that's pretty trippy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, there's actually a part of it still, when she's sitting outside the prison in her truck, you're supposed to see Michael in, like, her rearview mirror behind her. And there's Mm. actually part in the movie where, I've always thought this was strange until I found this out, because there's a scene, you know, where she's drinking the shots and shit, and then she Mm -hmm. starts screaming... When she starts screaming, there's a silhouette, like, right outside the car window, walking up. And they never explain it. And I'm like, where the, who, what the fuck was that silhouette? And it's actually Michael. I almost wonder if they'll do that again in this one. But her PTSD will still be reminiscent of the first movie. And they'll use the classic mask more often because of it. That'd be dope. That she sees 1978 Michael because that's still the one that freaks her out the most. Yeah, because that's the Michael she knows, you know? Yeah. That's the one that left the lasting effect. So I, I would be very interested in seeing some shit. Like maybe it'll just be like her looking in a mirror or something. Yeah. And then she'll look down and then look back up and Michael will be behind her and she'll freak out and then he's not there. And the way you know it's, the way you know it's fake is because it's the classic mask. And that's how yeah. they'll differentiate between what's real and what's fake. 
That'd be so cool. I mean, if they're, my theory they're gonna is steal correct. steal all my ideas out of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after the movie has yeah. been made. They're, uh, uh, watch my videos, you know. With yeah, my, totally. With my 33 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs> no, but... Um, <laughs> If my theory is correct and Lori is going to stay in the hospital the whole time, that'd be an interesting way to give her stuff to do is seeing Michael everywhere and shit. Yeah. I'm just curious as to the reasoning as why they cut it out of the last movie. Maybe because they needed to shave off some time? Probably. Or maybe they thought that focusing too much on the PTSD would make the movie too long. Maybe, True. Like, maybe it, like, dragged on, is what I mean. I mean, to honestly, it was only supposed to be, like, a shot or two. It wasn't, like, a long, dragged-out scene, as far as I could tell. It's just, like, a shot where she sees Michael. And they're in scenes that they kept in the movie. Yeah. Very strange. I think that would be a dope idea, though, if she sees Michael all over the place. It's actually the 78 mask. Because that's actually... Actually, you know what? Maybe that's why they cut it out. I... Yeah, maybe that's why they cut it out. Because in both instances where you see Michael, um, her hallucination, it's, it's Michael with the new mask. And it's both scenes take place before he ever escapes. So maybe mm. they cut it out because it technically doesn't yeah, make sense. Yeah, because it wouldn't make would sense at all that she would see the new, new mask if she hasn't seen it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be pretty dope if they try and uh, incorporate more of those scenes but make it the 1978 Michael. I almost wonder if the very last movie, like, if Lori doesn't die, do you think there's gonna be, like, like, Michael will die, like, for sure, and then she's gonna, like, watch the sunrise, and then it's gonna be, like, literally Halloween ends? <laughs> Honestly, I think that's what it means. Do you like I think that? Halloween ends. Do you like that Luke Skywalker type standing in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would be fine with that. If that's how they end it, that's fine. That's fine with me. We're doing exactly what we said we hope doesn't happen with the trailer. <laughs> what? Where people just speculate the entire film. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> people are going to speculate no matter fucking what. Yeah. Well, regardless of what happens, we're going to fucking watch it in the theater. So Yes. Unless, for whatever reason, the world never fucking reopens. 